Hello everyone, my name is Cubic, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Hope you guys are excited for today. Guys, it has been quite some time since I've last recorded, um, especially on this world. And uh, we're going to get right into things, as well as you guys will notice the, uh, the new, I guess, covers or the new overlays for the beginning of the videos. How you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm not used to my webcam being right there. I'm used to being like right over here, and so that's a little bit weird for me to like look, like, yeah. So <laughs> it's a little weird. Um, but I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, today I decided to do things kind of a little bit differently, or maybe talk a little bit about what I'm going to be doing with the channel ever so slightly. Um, basically, what's going on is I'm going to be I'm. once a week maybe uh if i can squeeze in about an hour just to record uh make a video uh whatever it might be it might be minecraft it might be uh thinking about playing arc again for those of you who used to watch that series um you know so if you guys have any game suggestions let me know but basically um today what i want to do was kind of get re i guess in touch with uh i guess just get back in touch with uh with our let's play world uh, we are not doing the season three that I last recorded. Uh, we had that video of like I needed to need a GPO, and so that's a GPU weird. Uh, but basically, what I want to do now is uh, is kind of get back in touch with um, my, with video making and so forth. I think the music is the music a little bit too loud. I think it's ever so slightly too loud. Turn it down ever so slightly kind of distracting <laughs> but yeah hope you guys are having a fantastic day and we're going to get right into a world tour of our minecraft let's play world which is going to be awesome because it allows me to see all the unfinished projects that i've just never completed and so that's mainly one of my goals for this world is just to start finishing these unfinished projects and uh, and go from there so with that let's uh jump into minecraft maybe There we go. That was weird. Okay, lock that in. All right, so uh, as you guys can see, um, I'm currently in this wonderful world of ours. Let me see something real quick. Yeah, my audio is coming through my... Hopefully that won't be a problem. Let me restart Minecraft really quickly. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I'm going to restart ever so very quickly because uh, I've got my audio coming, my music audio is coming in through my earbud here, but it's coming through my speakers here. <laughs> so that's a little weird. So let's see if I can fix that real quick with a quick restart. Um, more technical difficulties. Yesterday, I actually, uh, I recorded this video actually already. I've already done a world tour and my microphone was too low because I just got through like resetting my computer and everything. Um, so yeah i basically i had to um i basically did like a, a massive overhaul on uh let's see if i can get that to full screen maybe um i did a massive overhaul on all of my uh on my entire computer basically um and ended up replacing my gpu uh, my power supply uh and my uh operating system I upgraded to Windows 10. I know I'm late. I, like with my luck, it'll be like, there'll be like a Windows 11 in like a couple of months and I'll have to upgrade to that and that'll be annoying. Uh, but basically that's what I ended up doing. And then I finally figured out what the problem was. I needed a new heatsink. <laughs> and so all of that, I mean, I, I got some decent upgrades on my computer, but that was kind of annoying. That was just, I never really, I just assumed it was my graphics card, but it was actually, uh, it was actually my uh, heat sink that was not working properly. So, all right, now my audio is coming through the right place. So let's switch back over to Minecraft. There we go. And jump back into our Let's Play world. 
when it decides to update. There we go. All right, so um, you guys will notice a couple things. If you were, if you are holding on to this series, if you, if you, maybe you're watching through the playlist, um, but if you've, if you've basically waited for this series to come back, first of all, props to you. But second of all, you'll notice we lost a very important pickaxe. And Zuki, if you are watching this video, I am so, so sorry. Uh, basically, in our last, uh, my world tour that I did yesterday that failed miserably because of my audio, um, I got attacked by an Enderman touring the end, and I decided running out onto a one wide path was a great way to escape it. Um, and so I lost a lot of items. I didn't lose all my items. I still have like my elytra and things like that, but I did lose that pickaxe and my shovel. And so I have 44 levels, and uh, I want to quickly take a few moments to make some new tools and do some enchanting before the video begins. Um, and so that way we have some tools to look forward to. Um, and I did grab some basic uh, enchantment books, like I do have the projectile protection that I want to put on the helmet. Uh, the efficiency and respiration are kind of the things. So basically what I want to do really quickly is run up to my enchanting area because we'll start our world tour from there. And uh, and then once we do some, more, some of our enchanting, we'll actually get into the world tour, which I think will be a lot of fun because we have not been here in a very long time. Uh, I lost all my torches as well. I think I have, I have enough sticks to at least attempt to make a few torches. And let's hop up here. Oops, one more. I do have lapis up here, cool. All right, pickaxe, let's see. What's the unbreaking, we'll take that. Unbreak, just unbreaking three, thank you. I wanted that so much. All right, let's see what that's looking like. Efficiency three, no. What are you looking like? Fire protection, ooh. Um, do I have a random tool up here? I don't have anything to make a random tool with. <laughs> Great. This is how I start my videos, guys. I fail miserably. All right, um, let's head over to our storage area and we'll grab, because I don't want efficiency three. It's just not, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I could upgrade with a book, but I'd rather just go straight to efficiency four. Um, and while we're over here, we might as well, do I have unbreaking three? Yeah, I do have unbreaking three in this. Okay, so I need to drop efficiency on this real quick. Efficiency. There we go. So there's our efficiency for breaking three, just so that we have a pickaxe to use this in our silk touch. Uh, tools. There we are. Um, I just need something random. Oh, just uh, we will put an enchantment on a hoe. That's gonna be the best thing I can do. I guess. Or if we wanted to do a uh, chain mail, I'm just gonna put it on this this thing. And. Uh, while we're at it, just to grab that. I don't have any spare logs anywhere. Not particularly, not anything I can, I can use easily. All right, so let's head back. We'll start with this world tour someday. I don't know where I'm going, I'm going here. All right. And let's get over here. Yep, one more. There we go. All right, so enchant the unbreaking one. Perfect. Let's see, soap touch. Ooh, I don't really want soap touch on a shovel. Respiration three. I have respiration two. So maybe we'll. One enchantment level to get to three, okay. Still have some room to play with here, so let's just put unbreaking on that hoe again. Let's see what we got there. Protection. Efficiency four, let's go with that. Efficiency four, unbreaking three, good. And we're gonna go with whatever's this. Respiration three, unbreaking three. That's actually not too bad. Do I have protection? I got projectile protection, so I can throw that on. All right, but uh, I will do that at a later time because we're gonna actually get started with this world tour. So, welcome to what is I, Cubic's Let's Play World. It is a, uh, 
I don't know how old this world is. I think I started it quite a, a long time ago. I don't know. Um, I'm saying last year, maybe. Something like that. Maybe two years ago. That's a little bit much. I think last year is when I started this world. Um, and so we got a lot going on here. Basically, this the idea with this base that I have is um, I want to create a very futuristic looking base uh, in uh, in Minecraft and so my goal was to try to use black blocks uh, to build my base and so we used black wool throughout this entire thing and we put half slabs on the top so that way uh, no mobs will spawn and I've got torches up there I guess as well uh, but the idea is that we're going to take Minecraft to the next level in this world, and I want to continue to do that. Um, so we've got a lot going on here. Um, I guess we will start with uh, going down a level here. And we've got our enchantment area that you guys have seen. I use minecarts as my transportation system up and down because it's a quick way to do it. Uh, basically, all I have to do is click and then press shift. Uh, so uh, basically, most of the time, it'll let me out. <laughs> um, over here is where our old chicken farm used to be, so we have a lot of eggs here, extra eggs, uh, nothing too exciting there. Um, I guess we'll start over in this direction. Over here is my iron golem farm. I have two, I have one here, and I have one over there. It's Optifine, there we go. I installed Optifine, so that way I could get 60 FPS. Because Minecraft 1.13, I think the snapshots were very broken with it. <laughs> uh, and so I got a lot of iron going on here. And so, uh, and then over here is our chicken farm. And I'll show you guys where the chickens gather. So I have a bunch of cooked chicken here um, that I can use for food, uh, solving my food issues. <laughs> and then uh, up here is where the chickens are. So they're all up in these little pods. And there's uh, they're too deep, I believe, um, with chickens that just drop eggs down these uh, giant bumblebee pipes. Um, <laughs> I. I was going for like the, the biohazard look, but I think it looks more like a bumblebee. I think if I wanted the biohazard, I think I should have done it you know, all the way black across and then yellow across and black and yellow, uh, but that might have looked even more like a bumblebee, so we'll never know. Uh, but they're basically just tubes that uh, have the chickens that drop eggs down into an ice area, this ice path um, that isn't quite finished yet. I think what I did was I used ice to launch the eggs uh, at a better rate because they were getting stuck at the edge just like that one those are right there um, sometimes they catch the edge so I was just trying to fix that um, and down here is where the chickens gather they uh, get put into a hopper which puts uh, into the dispenser and the dispenser fires off into the glass here which spawns baby chickens when the chickens grow up they burn it's very dark <laughs> Uh, and so I've got a bunch of chicken. Uh, they basically, once they burn, they automatically cook. So I get automatically cooked chicken, which is nice. There's a rabbit. I don't know why. Um, over here is our little pet zombie, Barry. He just sits in a boat with an egg. I, I was going to put like a cage somewhere for him, but he just kind of lives here now. Uh, over here is my automatic smelting system. Basically, I have a bunch of coal in these furnaces. Um, it... Basically, I put items up here. Do I have items even thrown in this? I do not. Uh, but I put like cobblestone or anything like that into here. Let's see if I have anything. Darn my organizing system. I went through and pulled all the cobblestone out of these, I think. But I think you guys get the gist. Like, I can just put sand up in these, uh, in this hopper or this chest. And then the minecart comes back, fills up with the items. And then it spreads it out back and forth between these uh, these furnaces, so that way uh, we have like quick uh, smelting times. So that's why we did this system. Um, ideally, one day I'm going to build a system that's going to have 64 uh, furnaces all the way across, and that way we put a stack of items in, and it will cook instantly. Basically, <laughs> that's the plan. Uh, one day, um, and I do have a to-do list. That I'm setting up so um, 64 furnace system. I basically have this giant task list that I'm putting together for all of my uh, random Minecraft projects that I need to finish, and so I'm putting together a task list of things that I want to do. 
um, so that way I finish these projects and that way we won't have a bunch of projects uh, left in the dust if you will um, so yeah and then all the items just end up in here and we have a refueling system over here uh, the idea is eventually this whole world will be able to run itself um, eventually I don't know when I'm gonna get that done <laughs> uh, so yeah um, I guess we will head over this direction uh, down here is get down here is um, our nether wart I do not I have nether wart yeah they do have nether wart listed on to do list I don't have a farm for it or anything it just kind of lives here um, in this weird space this is my old base um, so I used to have all my storage over here uh, I no longer have that it's too tempting I can't shoot there you go um, ender chest don't use them uh, as soon as ender chests become compatible with hoppers I will use them <laughs> that's pretty much I'm protesting this is the only one I have I've, ne I've never used them um, over here is our old base so we have um, our jukebox and random enchanting area that used to exist here I moved my enchanting area up there like you guys saw um, over this direction is my old mob farm that no longer produces mobs because it's covered over so I just have random mob drops here <laughs> Um, I have all my to-do list to clean up my old base. Uh, up there is a pathway to get out. Um, here is like kind of the main hub, if you will, um, of where we have you know, where we were supposed to kind of gather around and so forth. And basically, I changed my mind on how I wanted to, to do this world. Um, over here is an old chicken farm that no longer functions. It does have chickens in it still? Um, basically, chickens just live up here and there's a hopper minecart that runs underneath and collects everything uh, which is pretty cool um, but I think the hopper minecart is missing so we don't really collect any more eggs uh, from that unfortunately uh, so yeah if we head over here this is our villager area that we have villagers or used to have a villager <laughs> um, so we have like just you know, random villagers that we can I want to eventually use the villager trading system because we do have like I think some decent books in here both name tags which are nice um i do have that on my to-do list is to abuse the villager system but we have a lot of uh villagers here basically we want to get a op villagers um at all times <laughs> so yeah that's the goal decorative spawner uh for decoration uh <laughs> and up here is our old villager farm uh it still functions it just doesn't have villagers i don't have a farmer over here so i do want to get one i have on my to-do list to do uh, i said to do a lot <laughs> uh over here is our uh basically our door that we use to transport villagers out of here so i used uh i would always use boats to do this because boats are easier i can control them um so i do have this double wide door and basically there's some trip wires that when i press this button it automatically holds these steel doors open uh, when I drop down through, the doors close. It's a very basic redstone system, uh, not too difficult uh, to put together. Um, it was one of the first redstone projects that I did, so that was always uh, something interesting. So I have like, um, I think, yeah, the, the doors, uh, these repeaters here uh, trigger those redstone torches to keep the doors closed. And then whenever I press the button, I think that is here, um, it pushes this redstone block over to here and uh, basically as soon as I go through the strip wires these uh, re this redstone wire gets triggered um, and basically pushes the redstone block back to turn the doors back on or turn the doors off I should say it's a pretty cool system um, not a whole lot to it uh, so it's uh, it's just a system I threw together um, but yeah it worked out pretty well for what I needed it to do all right, um, let's see, let's head down here. Okay, so over here is our uh, spider farm. Um, basically, I just have a spider spawner up here. Um, let's see, let's head over this direction. Uh, I have my spider farm over here, and the idea was that I would not let any light in, but I still wanted to be able to see into here. Excuse me. Uh, basically, the idea was I wanted to have the spiders uh, in here, a uh, spawner, and that there'd be no light that would get in. So I used half slabs, but I wanted to be able to see. So the spiders would basically see, 
drop down through here and then they would get collected apparently they don't all die <laughs> interesting to know so that might be an issue with why i'm not <laughs> getting many drops from this if the spiders aren't actually dying but uh i guess to do list is to fix spider i can't spell spider spider I've got a massive to-do list. I'll show you guys at the end of the video, and you guys will be able to see. Uh, old sugarcane farm, nothing too impressive, just for sugarcane to get uh, paper, I believe, because uh, I need books to enchant. Um, let's see, let's head up through here. Yes, yeah, so basically this was our very original base. This was like where we started out. Um, I think I had a uh, melon farm here, uh, our pumpkin farm there. Uh, all of my cobblestone. Uh, storage from of old. I need to move out of here. I do have one on my to-do list to get rid of. Uh, basically clean out the space. Um, over here is our cake that will never be eaten. It's never going to be eaten. That's uh, that's basically the whole, the whole gist of it. The cake will never be eaten. Uh, over here is our subscriber shout out area. Um, our old subscriber shout out area. Um, basically just signs with people's names on them who uh, were who said nice things on the channel. That was basically the, the goal of it. Um, I don't know how well it, that succeeded, but uh, it uh, it's definitely something that um, throws me back a little bit. Uh, we do a different method now um, where we name tools after people, and I did lose uh, Suki's pickaxe, so I'll have to rename this pickaxe at, uh, at some point and start redoing this system when uh, when I have time, you know? Um, so I guess we'll say uh, fix subscriber shout out system. Basically, I'd like to do something um, a little bit more exciting for you guys than uh, just naming a tool. Um, I think that it, it's a cool system, uh, but if you want me maybe to plug like Twitter handles or Instagram uh, handles or something like that, I can do it that way um, or do something a little more elaborate. Uh, so over here is uh, a project that I'm wanting to get back to eventually. I do have it on my to-do list. As always, I've got things on my to-do list. <laughs> um, basically, this project is a very much early stage in the works kind of deal. Um, and I was so good with this project that I basically made a minecart rail that doesn't take me all the way. <laughs> I still have to walk uh, to get all the way over here. Um, yeah, so this... Uh, this place needs some work, obviously. A lot of things need work. Um, but if we head up here, and so if we head up here, uh, this is our, um, this is our, I'm sorry, I'm so distracted right now. Uh, this is our uh, old village, our steampunk village that is has one house that is unfinished, basically. Uh, the idea is that this village will eventually have full automation. Um, it hasn't happened yet. Uh, so yeah, that's basically, the weather basically describes this area is depressing. Uh, but it's a pretty cool area that I want to get back to um, eventually and start working on again um, in the future. So that will be, that's on my to-do list, like everything else. Um, always things on my to-do list. Uh, never ends. But yeah, that's what I want to try to, start to, try to do um, one hour sessions whenever I have time. Um, I was really bad about it and uh, I realized that like I'm so serious all the time um, that I need to kind of do something to lighten things up and so I think playing some video games on the channel, making some more Minecraft videos, making gaming videos uh, is always a good way to relax and kind of help lighten things up a little bit. Um, I'm not good at that. I tend to be very I'm very serious and very goal driven so it's like if I'm not doing something to achieve goals then I'm like wasting time and so I think I need to kind of relax a little bit more <laughs> so that's kind of why we're trying to get back into things here uh, over this direction is our nether portal um, and we have our first uh, redstone project which was our automatic farm um, basically, I still use this because uh, I'm, I'm working on a new system, but this is I still use this at times. Um, it's basically just you flip this lever, water comes down, knocks all the uh, the fully planted crops out, um, 
which is always good, you know. So it's a basic system. And uh, if we go up here, we'll see that there's basically another level to this. And if we head up this direction, this is where the water comes from. So there's three levels to this, and we just plant the crops ourselves. And so I wanted to fix that system, um, which I will show you guys here shortly what that system looks like. Um, our cow farm is down here, has very many cows in it. Um, I don't really use it that much. Uh, old mine shaft down there. Um, and we're just gonna loop through here really quickly because there's a cocoa bean farm there and that's pretty much all that's here for our old base. Um, so we're gonna head into the, the nether and go into the end where I don't die, <laughs> where I don't look at an enderman and die. That's the plan. Uh, so if we head up, here is our nether fortress as well as our blaze farm. Um, this is Ethos design. And so it's a very like classic blaze farm design. Uh, my plan is to eventually set up a system that we can automatically uh, uh, get blaze rods from, but that's going to be a uh, process to do because I want to use blaze rods for fuel, um, but I really don't have a good way of harvesting these guys other than just swinging my sword arbitrarily. So <laughs> that's kind of just what's going on uh, with that. And if we head up here, um, I want to figure out what that portal is. I don't know what that portal goes to, so we're going to find that out here shortly. <laughs> uh, but I do want to go into the end just to show you guys my end. There's not a whole lot to it. There's one build in it, and that's it. So it's very impressive what I've done with this world. But uh, let's head over here into the end and not look at an enderman. Yeah, so basically I have, um, basically this is where I fought the dragon. There's really nothing over here. Um, trying not to look directly up. And then if we head down this direction, not looking at endermen. Uh, these are the two endermen that killed me earlier. So they're just here now. Um, I'm not touching them. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything to them. Alright, so over here is our Enderman spawner, or I guess our Enderman farm. Uh, it's very basic. Um, not a whole lot going on. It's just built out of cobblestone. I made it very early on. Um, I don't really use Ender Pearls. It's on my to do list to use more Ender Pearls because they're actually a good way of transportation. Uh, light truck do not freak me out like that. <laughs> but yeah, we basically can come over here. 30 levels. Yay! Uh, and, uh, and harvest Endermen. Uh, get XP. Not a whole... It's a, it's a the most common, I think, basic Enderman farm that exists. Um, add that to my to-do list is Enderman farm. I'll know what that means. Do something more with it. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on over here. If we head back this direction, uh, we will just head back into our main world. Um, I might check out that and uh, might check English. I will check out that uh, <laughs> that extra portal at some point here. Uh, we might do that at the end of the video. It might be the biggest like. Uh, fail, I guess, in uh, in uh, in our videos, and we've done a lot of fails, so we'll see if it actually goes anywhere or not. I don't think it actually does. I don't even know what it goes to. Um, might be like a mesa or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's head over here. So yeah, as you guys can see, I've really, I've really done nothing. I killed the dragon, built an ermine farm, and left. <laughs> that was my goal. Uh, but yeah, this puts us in a nice place. Um, so over here is our bulk storage area. This is where I'm going to have bulk storage at. Uh, I'm going to be basically be able to put cobblestone into here, and uh, the minecart runs down. Um, I'll talk about this system here in a second. Uh, but our minecart runs down here, where we have a bunch of uh, storage uh, for it. 
and this is already full. I have so much cobblestone. I don't know what to do with it all. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a bunch of cobblestone in here in these chests. Eventually, I want to have like bulk storage for a, a bunch of different items um, that we get a lot of. So that's the goal. Um, so let's head up here. Oops. Let's head up this direction. And up here, where these trees are all planted, is our automatic collecting tree farm. So we have to harvest the trees ourselves. Um, but basically, we can, if we carry saplings with us, we can actually uh, just walk away. We don't have to worry about collecting any saplings because the system will automatically collect it for us um, when it's working. <laughs> Uh, so if we just if we had saplings on us, we just replant and walk away. Um, the system basically, oops, uh, the system basically, do that real quick. Uh, has minecarts that run under, underneath it, hopper minecarts that run under, underneath it, and uh, there some of them get stuck. <laughs> so I have to work on fixing those. But yeah, they basically just run. Let's see if this one's coming this direction. Basically, just run over here. If they have anything, they'll drop it off. If not, they'll just keep running back and forth. So I think there's an issue with minecarts when they when chunks load and so forth, they get stuck or they disappear. <laughs> and so that's the thing that I have to work on and see if I can fix or do something different with. Uh, but yes, yeah, so then that structure right there is our melon and uh, pumpkin farm that I think still runs. Yeah, it still runs um, collecting melons and pumpkins and so forth. Um, I think this was like the first build I did outside. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. Um, let's see, where else do I want to go? I guess we will head over this direction. Uh, there's still a lot more to this world uh, than meets the eye, I guess. Uh, so not a lot of action going on inside of the, uh, the actual structure, which I want to do a better job at, but I have not had time or have done it. Uh, very disorganized. Uh, but over here is our map, and you guys can see there's a lot more to this world that's going on or works in progress that I just haven't finished. Um, over this direction, if you head over this way, it's that's where our uh, steampunk village is, so just to give you context. Uh, but yeah, so in order to build uh, such a structure as this, um, we have to actually... I head over this direction. We have to actually get wool to do it. So we have a lot of sheep over here that we use to harvest wool. Um, pretty you know, basic, I guess. Um, over this direction is going to be our solution to our um, our farm that we have, uh, the one with the water and the potatoes and everything. This is going to be an automatic planting system for and uh, harvesting system for uh, any sort of crop that can be planted. Um, so we will have like things um, such as like wheat, potatoes, etc. Um, actually, this system actually counts, I believe. Yeah, it counts, uh, I think, like three days is the average time for crops to grow. And it sends a redstone signal um, on like a weird timer that I built that needs work. Um, it sends a, a redstone signal. Um, to the water to release, and then a minecart will come along and restock all of the uh, all of the crops. And so once these all get full, we will start to see. Uh, we're gonna actually split it up, I think, but eventually this will be completely self-sufficient, and we won't need to worry about uh, produ or providing crops or replanting or anything. It will just do its thing. Um, and so I have a plan for this whole area to be dedicated to that. I have it on my to-do list someday I'll get it done. <laughs> yeah, but the, basically the, the crops will go down through this ice path and uh, and collect here at the end. And so that's the overall plan. Alright, so um, let's see. I don't think there's much, there's not a whole lot going on like up in these levels. I guess we'll go up here because this is actually kind of important. Um, over here is our subscriber shout out area. So anytime we had a tool that we used um, and we couldn't repair, uh, we would put that in a frame. And so Lots of like old subscribers. Um, Zuki eventually will have his. Here, let's just put. Yep, that's what I lost, guys. I lost a mending pickaxe, <laughs> uh, so that was very unfortunate. Um, yeah, like we have 
we just tried to give like different names to people who supported the channel and uh, left comments and so forth. So if you guys still want that to happen, just drop some comments and let me know. Because uh, I'd like to get back into doing some shoutouts and so forth and just you know giving you guys love for supporting me. Uh, but yeah, we have a whole system here set up that will eventually fill up and keep going up. The idea is that eventually this uh, this base is going to reach uh, 255, and it will be called the 255 base. Maybe it'll be called something with, to do with 255. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have like a catwalk up here because I want to be able to see um, everything from a taller vantage point, um, and then like this pathway just leads back over to the storage area. Um, so yeah, if we head. I think that's a nightshade. I can't shoot him. Do you guys actually drop anything? He made me shoot my minecart. He did drop something, but I don't know what it was. And I, will, I can't put that minecart back down. Lord knows what I do with this. <laughs> what do I do with a fan? It's been a while. I don't know what a phantom membrane does, but. It does something. I think that happens. I get attacked whenever I don't sleep. I don't sleep in this game. <laughs> I don't. Um, I work through the night. But yeah, so up here is just a expansion area. Anytime I want to do some expanding. Um, over this direction, if we will just fly over here, is another area where we're supposed to do our subscriber shoutouts over here, but we never did. Um, so we just turned this into like an abandoned mine shaft area. Um, and so eventually I'm going to kind of rework this and make it like a nice looking build. But for now it's just kind of this area that has um, a weird walkway. And we mined out. We did time lapses though, which was cool. I miss time lapses. We should do some more. <laughs> we shouldn't. Uh, time lapses are great. Um, especially when you sit there for several hours and it looks like you did nothing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we head up here. Uh, this is our... Uh, another one of our villages for villagers. Um, I have this working. Uh, there's there's villagers in here. That's the important part. There's villagers here. Uh, and I'm just going for like a steampunk look for each of these homes um, to breed villagers. Over here is our monument. Um, my I had my cousin come play Minecraft with me uh, when he was in town. And so he built this thing. And it still stands. Um, I've just covered it up. So I'm horrible, I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's basically supposed to be like a monument, like a sanctuary for it or something to protect it. Um, so yeah, it's a, it was an interesting video. <laughs> that uh, It's still up on the channel. I think it's like under Mystery Guest or something if you guys really care. Um, yeah, but over this direction is our library project, which is basically the world's largest, most confusing... Um, request system. It's basically going to use uh, block codes, as I call them, or just different types of blocks to request um, different uh, enchantment books. So like we're, when we were enchanting earlier, the idea is I can come in here, say I need Unbreaking 3, has Smite in it for some reason, uh, but if I need Efficiency, it should have like Efficiency 5 books, like maxed books and everything. So I can just request a new one whenever I take one out, and uh, it's going to send block codes uh, down through this system uh, and it's going to send it's basically going to drop these and we will have let's see how does this work we'll have a minecart that uh, goes through here and uh, we'll drop off whatever it decides that it needs so we just have like a system that will tell it what it needs uh, it will drop it off and then go back so that's the uh, basic premise um, and then if we head over here, I'll just I'll actually head down the system so you guys can see. Um, it'll drop down into here, and there's this large tube that we built um, to request to basically have the items go down through. Before, I was going to use redstone, but I realized that was going to be a ridiculous amount of redstone to do. Um, so I figured block codes would be easier um, because the system actually runs all the way through here. Um, all the way down to the, this is basically a library project that we will probably, we will finish one day. Um, basically comes down here and we have um, an area that's going to sort the items, I guess, uh, is what I got going on. 
uh, and said, try to get around this system. It's a very complicated redstone system I got going on here that uh, basically will um, have like a listing here of like what silk touch means is andesite. That's the block code for it. It's a block we're going to use. Or then cobble walls will re request aqua affinity. Basically, using blocks that I have a lot of. Um, and so it's a very complicated request system. Eventually, I'll probably just do a video dedicated to explaining how it works um, once it's working. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys can probably see kind of that video, uh, or several, if you watch the channel for a long time, you'll know how, kind of the, the basis of the system, what it's supposed to do. Um, so we have like a locking mechanism here um, that basically says, with these slime blocks, it basically says, when I need something, then I will allow a redstone signal to go through. Um, so that way the minecart doesn't get confused. It's a very confusing system, but uh, if we head... Uh, what's the best way to get up there? Um, I guess I'll show you guys basically what my plan is. Um, if I head... I don't remember the way down, to be honest. How do I get down? through here? Yes, it is. Okay, so basically I mined out an area um, that has this uh, this tube for, I don't remember what this tube is for. I guess for more items to drop down. Yeah, we've got, we've got the, the chute there uh, for more items to drop down. And uh, the cobble is basically just, or the stone bricks are placeholders for where hoppers are going to go um, to collect the items. And so... Yeah, and this is where our old base is. We got our, our haste two beacon. Um, there we go, haste two. Um, so yeah, and when I had efficiency five, it was easy to mine out. Uh, now I no longer have that pick. I need to get mending back. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the system. It's very much a work in progress. Uh, I've not finished it, and it'll probably be one of the last things I'll finish because it's just it's such a it's a ridiculous project because there's still more to it. <laughs> um, like if we head up this ladder, up here is where the storage for the books will live, and the minecart basically loops through here. Um, and whenever it gets a, a request, um, the direction of these change, and so it'll collect that book, go back through, and drop it off. Um, See if there's a, and then like if the minecart, um, basically the minecart goes back on the same rail it comes through, so it just drops off here instead, it goes up this, uh, this this hill, and drops off. So, yeah, it's a it's a system and a half. I understand. Um, yeah, so over here is kind of just a little expansion area, kind of like a nature preserve, because the idea is that eventually the the you won't be able to recognize what grass is. Or what natural things look like because the, the, the world's going to be so overtaken by machines and different things like that so that's the plan um, if we head over here um, this is kind of a, a little expansion that I did for our old base um, basically we head down if you were to head through that floor that's where the, the hub is um, our original I guess our original hub area is down through here. And so this was where I first introduced uh, the minecart system uh, that's used to get up through. And so I had this little expansion area to get up uh, on top of the world, essentially, uh, up on the surface easier. Um, if we head over this direction, uh, here comes another expansion project. Uh, over here, we're just going to take this minecart rail, and I will show you guys what's going on over in this direction. minecart rail <laughs> that we have. Uh, it took a long, long time to build as well, which is not, a, I, mean, I guess it's fun, I guess. And I actually haven't been over here since 1.13, so the, uh, the, the green water is a nice touch, you know? <laughs> the nice green water. Um, so yeah, if we head over here... Um, 
over here is our witch farm um, that we use to get the drops that witches drop. <laughs> um, and the idea is eventually I will have a perimeter uh, built. This whole area is going to get mined out eventually. Um, yeah, we have like a witch farm over here that is not currently turned on. Um, but yeah, basically this thing just goes back and forth, pushing, uh, push, I guess pushing back and forth, uh, slime blocks that push the, uh, the witches off. Um, and the other side is not working currently. To be honest, I have no idea why this isn't working. <laughs> uh, to be very honest, I have no idea why that's not working. I think I just need to update some pistons or something like that, so that'll be a thing I'll do eventually. I am getting weird drops of redstone, which concerns me. Um, yeah, like, even if we, uh, if we had, I forget where the entrance is. Did they change that? The water goes up above half slabs now. That's interesting. I don't know where my entrance is to uh, hear this. And if we head down through here, we have where our drops collect. Essentially, uh, so yeah, it's a uh, it's another work in progress system that I need to do something with. <laughs> um, but the idea is eventually we'll have uh, a bunch of like unlimited redstone and so forth, um, be able to have a lot of those items. Um, it's going to be a process. Uh, that's the best I can say. It's going to be a process to get the uh, this world fixed and working properly. Um, but if we head over this direction, like this is where my perimeter is uh, marked out right now. I am kind of working on it. Uh, there we go. I got sectioned off this area and was doing some digging. If you guys might not be able to see that, but I was doing some digging. Um, that's a, it's a, or no, I'm actually filling in. Sorry, I'm going to fill all of this in. Then uh, once it's all filled in uh, to get rid of all the water, then I will uh, come back through and essentially come back through and just knock all the, uh, the dirt out, knock everything else out. So that will be, again, a process, uh, a thing that I do in the future. Uh, that's going to take a long time to do, but I'm, I'm determined to become dedicated to doing the, these projects and getting these things fixed. You see, I don't understand that water being over top of those half slabs. That's weird. It's interesting, but weird. Um, but yeah, over here is head over this direction it's where my cart is but over here is kind of an extension of the uh, the base style that we've been doing with the black wool and uh, the idea is eventually my base will kind of connect over here as well besides just the minecart rail it'll actually connect it'll actually be a structure um, so it's where like our, our massive uh, sorting system area which I will show I don't think I've shown it yet no I haven't <laughs> I have a hard time when I do a world tour, I forget what I've shown and what I haven't, and then when, especially when you do a failed world tour, it's hard to remember everything. Uh, but yeah, like up here is ladders. But 
yeah, up here is like a little platform. Eventually, I'm going to dig all this out. Um, and uh, our base is like straight through there. I think I even, did I dig a path to it or not? Nightshade. Okay, these guys aren't actually as bad as I thought they'd be. These things are going to be really OP. They're actually not bad to deal with. They're just annoying. Another one is membranes. I don't know what those do. Whatever they do, they might. They, hopefully, they do something useful. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's head back and I'll show Al. highly doubt you're the one coming after me. I don't think I'm, I'm not hitting that shot. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, let's uh, head over here. Let's get back in our minecart. Goodbye, Nightshade. It was nice knowing you while you harassed me. And now we wait. Alright, so over here is um, actually our storage area. Um, if you head down here, there we go. So you guys can see, like, we uh, drop some items into an ice path and uh, into like a dispenser, an ice path that drops all these items and they get sorted into these chests. And then down below. have basically we're gonna have a chest or multiple chests for every item in the game uh, is the plan <laughs> and so we're sorting a lot of that stuff now um, trying to sort a lot of that stuff now I'm not really successful I was messing with it yesterday I think the system might be broken I'm not sure yet so I'll have to kind of experiment with it but there this is where our storage area is and it's pretty nice um, you know, having storage for you know, all the items in the game always a, a bonus I guess if you will <laughs> um, Yes, yeah, so uh, what else have I not shown here? Um, I guess we head over. I think there's one last place I haven't shown. Uh, down there is like our mine shaft that we use for when I need cobblestone. Never need it. Never need cobblestone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> over here is like our another one of our villages. Um, I can't shoot. I. You know what? Uh, over here is our village, and uh, it's supposed to be like a more modern uh, style village. Um, I'm not sure what you're doing. Uh, that system might be broken. <laughs> Basically, this is supposed to be an automatic fl flower farm, planter, and flower collector. Um, except that water stream should not be on constantly. Um, or it might cycle through. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know what it's doing. Um... Yeah, basically we have uh, this whole crazy contraption. Um, it's a thing that's that's happening here. <laughs> um, it's basically the best way I can describe it is 
uh, bone meal will get put into the system. And then these dispensers will use the bone meal on the grass. Um, and uh, they do that, I think, every night. I think they're supposed to do that. Um, and then during the day, or at some point during the day, um, the water flow will trigger up in that UFO and drop water down and harvest everything, uh, which will go into the hoppers in the corners. And the, uh, the hoppers in the corners are collected by uh, this minecart rail that goes around that collects all of it. And it, the minecart takes it over to this system and drops it off. So you guess all the minecart go there. Uh, it basically just drops it off, puts it into these droppers, and puts the... Uh, puts the items, uh, or if we had items in it, we would put them up in these chests. We currently do not have items uh, put or any flowers put in there, so it's another work in progress. I think this might be broken. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to monitor it. Uh, but yeah, we have like different like villagers, and the idea is that each one of these houses is supposed to serve a purpose in some way in automation. Um, I've not done that yet. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, another project on the uh, to-do list that I, I do have at it. But um, yeah, so if we head, oh boy, I don't even know. I think I've shown everything that I know of. Um, let's show you guys the library and everything. I guess let's go check out that portal that we were talking about earlier. Um, I haven't forgotten about it. Uh, let's go check it out and see where it goes. And uh, it's probably gonna be a huge, massive disappointment. But hey, you know, if that's uh, the, the case, we will uh, end the video there, I guess. It'll be something uh, like a, something exciting, I guess. Uh, see where that mystery portal takes us to. All right, so. I need to build another hub at some point, but I haven't. <laughs> uh, there we go. I'm kind of curious where this takes me. It might take me to uh, death, possibly. <laughs> um, we'll have to see here. Oh, it takes me. Okay. Um, so yeah, over here, I forgot this little thing I forgot to show. Um, so over here is our witch farm and stuff. This is our witch area and our that expansion part. And down here, I forgot to show this, is my skeleton farm, which I use to get all of my XP. Um, so we have things like, uh, basically I have a skeleton farm, skeleton spawn, and then they get put down into here. And uh, basically, I can just harvest them. It's a very simple XP farm. Uh, nothing too crazy. The idea is eventually to use as to automate this so that we can get bones to make bone meal for the flower farm. Um, so yeah, and then over here is this long pathway which leads us back to our old base, the one with the sandstone and the uh, the uh, weird hub and the chicken farm and the old villager farm and. Um, what else can I describe it with? There's more to it, actually, because I wanted to show one last thing. I always forget to show this in World Tours because I don't remember it's there. Um, but there's something actually pretty cool over here. Um, you guys know that I did not make transportation around this world easy on myself. I just decided walking was the best method, uh, which means I just have to ramble on about random things uh, when I'm walking, especially in videos. <laughs> uh, but basically, that will probably change... Uh, with the kind of new style that we're doing. Um, but yeah, so over here is like a, a super mined out area. Um, I don't know what my plan was for over here. I think I was supposed to, I wanted to put my uh, my farm, my automated farm over here, but I just didn't. Um, but it is a mined out area, and we'll probably repurpose it for something. Um, so if we head over this direction, we have our horses. All of our horses that I don't use for any transportation whatsoever. I think this one's my best one. Uh, it's supposed to be like a horse breeding area um, that I never finished. So add that to the to-do list. Horse breeding area slash stable. 
add that onto the to-do list. Um, but yeah, then also over here is our rainbow sheep area. We just basically have all the different colors of wool over here. So for all my different colored wool needs, I have the sheep to do it, uh, sort of. They exist. <laughs> um, how did you get out? I don't even know. I'm not going to question it. And you got out as well. I think there's the world. I think updating worlds kind of makes things do think things happen. Weird things happen. But yeah, and uh, I think that is, if I'm not mistaken, I think the last of the world. Um, I think over here is actually a skeleton farm, if I'm not mistaken. Are there skeletons that are going to come through? Yes, there is. And uh, I think it's an automated system, so the skeletons automatically die. And uh, this was very early on. I don't use this farm. I forgot this farm existed, to be honest. But uh, I do collect bones from that, eventually. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think that's going to just about wrap it up for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, let's see, let me switch back to here. And let me pull up my task list. Make sure there's no information on here that I need to worry about. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, let's switch back over. Hide that. And will it show up? Nope, okay. Um, not game capture. Uh, display capture. Here, see if that one is it. Uh, there we go. Alright. Uh, hide the game capture. There we go. So, I do have like this massive to do list of things like fix the breeding area for the steampunk village. Repurpose abandoned crater in the steampunk village. Uh, that's where our um, old subscriber shout out thing was. Um, the buildings and the, the houses in the villager area that I have the. Oops, sorry. Uh, the place, the, the thing with the stuff. The villager area with uh, the flower farm. I have like a science and wheat building that I need to repurpose. Uh, expand the ice farm. Which I did not show. I can show that real quick if you guys would like. Um, if you use trading, villager trading, fix the hopper minecarts in the tree farm, bulk chests, sort them out, sorting system, item notifier for the sorting storage system, investigate the sorting problem, nether wart farm, clean up old base, uh, farmer village, uh, an old base so I can get uh, farmers going, farmer villagers. Unfinished village. Uh, that's the uh, the steampunk village that uh, we took the rail cart to. That uh, I built the one building with, and it's just pure embarrassment <laughs> over there. Uh, the blaze rod fuel system. Um, use more ender pearls. Unload the hoppers uh, for bulk storage because I think those cause lag. So we might want to reduce that if we can. Uh, finish the automated crop system. Uh, replace Suki's pickaxe. We're working on that actively. Get rid of the old eggs and chicken farm. Use uh, players a chunk loader, and that's uh, that's an experiment I'm going to use uh, to see if I can actually do it. Uh, the 64 furnace system, which is going to be uh, going to do the uh, super fast sorting system or super fast smelting system. Uh, fix spider farm, fix subscriber shout system. We'll have to come up with a new system or something different. Uh, the Enderman farm, and the horse breeding area and stable thing. So, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, in that realm. But let me show you guys the ice farm really quickly to show you what I'm talking about. Um, just so you have a little bit of context uh, on what my plan is with that. So, over here, so first of all, this is our sugarcane farm that we don't use for any reason, but I, I will be using that soon. I have tons of sugar canes. It's an automatic system. It works pretty well. It does what I need to do. And over here is our ice farm. And we'll head over here. Mm, get up there. There you go. Um, and basically, this is just a uh, system that every night, I believe, yes, every night, um, it pushes up on the ice, and then these uh, these pistons push across. And so, this because the thing is full, 
um, pistons can't push anymore and so we just have this uh, sheet of ice here uh, but eventually I want to make a giant ice layer that we can just run through and harvest all the ice and uh, make it easy on ourselves so <laughs> that would be a goal someday but yeah I think that's just about to wrap it up for me hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, switch over to webcam. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the world tour. Let me know down in the comments uh, what task we should do first because we got a bunch of tasks that we need to do. Um, so eventually I will start working on that and uh, hopefully spend roughly an hour um, working on those. Try to fit into my schedule, especially with the, uh, the second semester of college coming up. We'll have to see uh, how much time I actually have. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, uh, just let me know down in the comments below, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.